Hi guys, welcome to another video. My name is Stacy, and I make videos on fashion, styling, and shopping. And today's video is going to be an unboxing. I know that in my last video, um, that what I got for Christmas video, I said that I will be posting a part two, and I will, it's already filmed, I just have to edit it. So that is in the works. Um, I'm not really 100% sure um, if I'm going to upload this one first or the other one first. However, my dilemma is that I got in a couple of things that I really wanted to unbox on camera. So that means that I really do have to get this filmed, whether I post it or not, um, because I really want to open it up. I can't wait until I edit and post another video to be able to open up my packages. And I did want to do it on camera, so there you go. Um, let's get into what I have on. I am really, really basic today. I do like this sweater though, it's from ASOS and it's fairly recent and I believe it's from the brand ASOS Design. So I do like their, their network, I think it's relatively inexpensive and, and typically well made. I have on a necklace that I got from Madewell. Um, I think I may have hauled this in a video before, but if not, I will still link it below because they should still have it available. I do really like Makewell's jewelry. It's right up my alley. And then this is that little button necklace that I showed you guys um, in my last video um, from Zara. This is on sale for $13. It's in the sale. Initially, I thought that this was a 20 to 24 inches um, inch necklace, and I thought that you were going to be able to sort of like make it smaller. However, this is a 36 inch. Like It goes down to here. You can't really adjust this because it's a stationary here. So essentially what I did was with the um, the links in between the chain, I just put in a little lobster clasp to kind of make it shorter. I do have a lot of like jewelry materials because I do make jewelry. So I did have a few extra ones. However, if you really want this necklace, and I actually still recommend it, I would just go to like Joann's or Michael's or something and just buy like a little lobster clasp. I have a silver one, but um, you, could do, you can get gold or silver or whatever, you know, color you want. And then it's like an easy fix. It's like three bucks. So I would suggest that. And I just have on some sweatpants. I do have to go to the store later today. I have not left my house, guys, since Saturday. I mean, I've really been chilling. I'm on vacation right now and I'm just really just not doing a whole lot, um, but making these videos, but I do need to go out to the store so I'll probably throw in a pair of jeans. I may or may not take a picture. I'm not sure yet. Um, and that's it. And then I think, what, yeah, and I think these earrings are just from probably, so these are cheap earrings. I think I probably got them from H&M. All right, so that is that. So there's a couple of things that I forgot to haul for you guys um, in the last video, and I did not post it in my part two because like I told you, the part two has been, has already been, has been filmed, so... <coughs> Um, I want to show you guys this hat that I got from my friend. Um, my friend Brenda got this for my birthday. I thought it was so cute. It has like little pro details here around the rim. And I was actually looking for a hat um, like this. I was looking at one that was like more of a brownish sort of like neutral colorway um, because I think it's really good and it's a, it's a nice little accent piece to have, especially if you're having like a bad hair day. Like, is that not cute? Oh, so cute. So I love it. I, I don't have a hat at all. I used to have something similar to this a few years ago, but I just don't have it in my hair. Mm. Okay, there we go. Um, so I was really excited about getting this because I do not have, this is something I actually don't have. Everyone always says, oh, I don't know what to get you because you have everything. And this is really true, but um, this was actually a really, get, a really good gift for me. It was actually the perfect gift. So thanks so much to Brandy. And then she also got me these earrings, um, like this little puff ball um, earrings. They, I, I'm assuming that they are handmade. And I think it's from a black owned business. I'm not sure if she makes these or not, or if she just sells them, but I will link that information below or on the screen. And I thought they were really cute. And, and again, I don't have anything like this in my jewelry collection. I thought it was really nice. So that's that. And then I also got something in the mail yesterday and it was from Nordstrom's. And I was like, I don't have anything coming from Nordstrom's. I, I was very confused. I mean, I was looking on my uh, on my Nordstrom's app, looking at my old orders because it was addressed to me. The address was correct. And I was like, did someone like get me from a paper? Did they, was this a fraud purchase? I had no idea. And yes, this is coffee. And yes, I do drink coffee with a straw because coffee stains your teeth. So I don't do it in public, but when I'm in my house, 
And I feel like you guys are like my family. I do drink coffee with a straw. So don't judge me. So anyway, I was like, what is this? And so I opened it up. And it was a candle that says, you're my person. And I already knew who that was from. That was from my boyfriend. He just always sends me those little things just because I just never know. And I thought it was super, super, super sweet. It smells really good too. It smells, it smells very citrusy. It says it's coconut, vanilla, and notes of like surf wax and vanilla beans. So it's really nice. And this is um, from a place called or from the brand called Ginger June Candle. But I just thought it was really cute. Your my person is so sweet. So that's that. That just came yesterday. Bit of a mess. So anyway, that coffee was good today. Oh, and this little letter mug is from Anthropology. I love their little alphabet mugs. They do. I think they usually do like add a different one every year, but I think I actually have three different ones and I think they're all still available. So I will link them below as well. These are really good gifts. Like if you don't know what to get someone, if you need to get them something relatively inexpensive, the anthropology little alphabet mugs are definitely, you know, um, a good gift to have because it's something that is going to come in like a cute little box. Um, it's a very well-made mug. And then, too, you know, mugs, it's a little bit pricey for a mug, but it's not pricey for a mug that you're going to give to someone else. So that's that on that. Oh, and before I forget, someone always usually asks me about, like, my lip color. This one actually is more of a nude color. I usually do a color for you guys for the videos. But, you know, I kind of felt like today was more of a laid-back day. So I figured I would just give you what my everyday looks are. And this is essentially what I do every day. Um... I have on, this is from, I believe this is from L'Oreal, and it's called Bold Mauve. I think this is a really, really good um, nude for chocolate girls, such as myself. And then I just usually tie, it's a very matte colorway, um, but it's, it's, it's very nice. It's very opaque. You know, it definitely covers the lip in full without having to do too much. And then I usually top it off with this lip bar, um, lip gloss called Goddess. So I really haven't been a huge like lip gloss person, but I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of I'm kind of into it. It's like I, I would be into lip gloss now that we're wearing masks and it's really difficult to wear um, lip gloss. But I actually have these little mop guard things I bought from Amazon. So I'll usually um, have on that. If I do have on the mask so that I'm not necessarily like messing up my makeup. And I'll link those too because those are lifesavers. Someone from my job, um, my coworker, Chris, he suggested that for me because a lot of times, you know, I am actually at work. I'm not working from home. And so I do have to actually physically be in meetings with a mask on, having to like talk and present. And that definitely helps a lot. So I will link those below as well. I just got them from Amazon. It's like a pack of like five or six, something like that. But yeah, so I actually did unbox this one in my last video that I have not uploaded yet. But you know what? I'll just do it now. I might end up just, I might just not even, um, uh, I might cut that part out because I actually, I'm still in the process of editing that. So I might cut it out since I'm going to show it right now. But I figured it was fitting to, to, um, to unbox it here since, you know, I'm going to unbox another item just, just like it, um later on today because that item is really the reason why we're even doing this unboxing to begin with that's the star of the show that's the star of the show all right so i was in um nordstrom's rack the other day i typically don't find too much in nordstrom's i know people love it and for me i'm like a uh, hit or miss i usually find little knickknacks or whatever but not anything major like not any major like luxury designers for whatever reason um but i actually found something that i really really wanted it's from Moschino, and I really, really, first of all, I love Jeremy Scott, and I really want something from his line, and I saw this bag, and I thought that it was great. I love it. I love the fact that it is um, white leather. I love the black script here. I love the um, the straps here. This particular bag was on sale, so it was kind of locked in that little case. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, here it is. It was in that little glass case. 
Um, so it was marked down from 1325 to 459 okay? So $460, and it's red tagged, and right now um, Nordstrom's is having that little um, clear the rack sale, so anything that's red tagged was an additional 25% off. I was like, take that to the register for me. Like, I don't need, need to think about it. And this is really nice too. Like, it's definitely, you know, it's all leather on the inside, except for when you get to like this bottom part here. Um, it has a little zipper part in here. And then you also have a pocket right there as well for your cards if you really do not want to carry, you know, a full-size wallet. However, you know, a full-size wallet definitely fits in here. This is definitely a very roomy bag without it being too big. I am in love with the size. Obviously, your phone, I have like the max. That one fits in here. I mean, it's there's plenty of room for everything. Your mask, your your hand sanitizer, a full size wallet, your keys, um, and maybe even a little like makeup bag. So it's definitely that. And it has a back pocket here, which I like. And the other thing I like too is that this strap is detachable. So you can really and truly wear this um bag as a um as a clutch. And then you also have um an adjustable strap here so that therefore you can also wear this as if you really wanted to as a shoulder bag as, as well as you know a crossbody bag so I like this bag I just like more abstract bags like this and again I just think Jeremy Scott um, and his designs in general like the Moschino brand in general is one of those things that's just very classic and I feel like you'll be able to like have this for years and years to come so then what am I my scissors do I have any scissors I have been here to go I have been like really, really stalking this bag for a long time or some version of this bag. I honestly, I was influenced. I'm influenced for, you know, I'm influenced quite often. The Yusufs, I love the Yusufs. If you are not subscribed to them, you would love them. They're two sisters. They're, they're, they seem to be super sweet. Obviously, I don't know them. <laughs> I think they're I think they're from Canada, but they do live, I think, in Ohio. They live in the States right now, but I think they're originally from um, Toronto. Um, two black women, I believe they're a Muslim. So they have very like modest style. Like you're not they're not gonna be in like a bunch of like revealing clothing or you know like short skirts they don't do this is not what they're gonna do however they're they're still very stylish and i just really do um enjoy their channel a lot whenever they upload i probably have i've watched every every upload that they've done for the past like year or so so i like them a lot and so um i saw this bag and they actually style this bag a lot with outfits and for whatever reason this bag was on sale and this bag is not a seasonal bag at all so i was really quite shocked and shook i actually got this bag from essence and when i say essence i don't mean essence like the magazine like no no child not that i'm talking about essence as an s s e n s e they are a um they're a luxury retailer um out of canada i want to say i i found them because i was looking for something i googled it and then that site showed up because it was cheaper there and i probably had about four or five different orders from them with mostly luxury type products because it's usually been cheaper there so I don't really know why it's cheaper, but things just seem to always be cheaper there. I don't know if it fits because of the exchange rate from the with the U.S. dollar and the Canadian dollar. I don't know, um, but for whatever reason, things are always a lot um, less expensive, you know. And also, to um, Essence is on shop style so you get 10 percent off or 10 percent cash back if you go through that particular site which i really suggest that you do so i was able to at least well i know i'm going to be getting 10 percent of what i pay on this back back through on um, that shop style which essentially is like an ebates if you guys are familiar with that um i think ebates is called something else like something with an r i don't remember at the time but i don't really use them anymore i usually mainly use um shop style but yeah, so I've seen this bag and I've wanted this bag for a long time and it was on sale there. And that's the other thing about Essence. They're having a sale right now um, and everybody's having sales like Farfetch is having a sale, um, Netta Porter, Moda Operandi, all these people are having sales. In general, their sales are usually on like seasonal items, but honestly, I've noticed that Essence has sales on current stuff, like current season 
current things that are that are not necessarily even going you know out of style because this bag is still full price every place else including the brand's own site so enough rambling for that because that was a lot of rambling so it comes in here you can't tell what it is here i see that but it comes the box is wrapped in paper y'all ciao 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 so everything is wrapped in like this paper so it's super nice and oh the box is like torn though but this is an off-white box this is my first off-white purchase and off-white if you guys don't know is Virgil Abloh's um, company. I think he may have sold it. I'm not 100% sure. I think he may still be the creative director, but I think he may have sold the brand, but he's also the creative director, the men's creative director of Louis Vuitton now. Um, very good friends with Kanye. I think he used to be with the, um, the Yeezy brand. But anyway, so it comes here in this little paper. <laughs> when I tell you it's, it comes in, in its own dust bag, when I tell you I've worn this bag forever, <laughs> forever, Thank Jesus right now that I was able to get this bag. This is called the Jitney bag, the Jitney off-white bag. Um, I'm sure, I mean, if you've seen this bag, I'm pretty sure. If not, this is an off-white bag. It's one of his, um, his basically his most popular bag. Um, now he has different versions of it that has different sayings. There's one saying that says salary inside. There's a smaller version that has like rent inside. And, you know, this is just a very like abstract, cool bag. And I have wanted this bag for a long time. Um, I love the all black. It's, it's more of a black patent leather. And then it has, but not quite patent, but I, I think it is sort of more of a, a patent leather. And I love like the white, um, the white writing on it. It does come with a strap. See, I, I've i never seen this bag in person, honestly, but yeah, so then you you twist that up and then that's what opens the bag up, which is actually really cool. It does come with a, a strap. I think this is gonna be a bag that I carry, you know, as a top handle bag. I don't think I'm gonna be using, I think it's a little bit big for it to use as a crossbody, to be honest with you. Um, this strap may be adjustable, so, I don't know if it's adjustable or not. I don't think this strap is adjustable, so I don't think I will be able to carry it. Well, I could, I could probably still carry it as a shoulder bag if I really wanted to. But yeah, it just comes with this little packaging in here. It has several different compartments in here. It has like the little, there's one like little compartment here, and then there's like a skinny one that's in between here, which is interesting. I've never seen that before. And then there's like a larger, it's like a larger compartment here. And you see this here, like there's like a little like slot here, it seems like, and then you kind of have that. And then of course there's like a little, I would say a card holder in here, just in case you didn't want to carry a full wallet. Yeah, this is, so this bag retails for $1,400. This bag is 13, I believe it's like $1,390. Again, this bag is that, that price everywhere. It's that where on Nordstrom's, on the off-white site, I think on Farfetch, I mean, it's everywhere. But for whatever reason, this bag was $751, $751 on um, the Essence site. Like what? And then because I'm going to get the 10% back, so I only ended up paying like 600 something for this bag when it's all said and done. And this is $1,400. This is not an old bag. This is a current, I believe this is a staple bag in their collection. I, know, I think this bag is always available. It is not seasonal at all. And it was on sale there. They have essentially 
almost all of their all white um, off white bags are on sale. Not every one of them, but a lot of their bags are on sale. And they regularly run these bags on sale because I was doing like my little YouTube research, and um, several people had gotten this bag. Um, at a relatively um, cheap price, um, but only from Essence. So I would definitely check that um, site out because again, I think things are cheaper there anyway. And I think it has something to do with the exchange rate because a dollar does match up well with the Canadian dollar, with the US dollar matches up well with the Canadian dollar. So things tend to be cheaper. So they might just be doing a straight conversion rate and they're not necessarily pricing things you know, at market rate or market value in the US because they're, I, I don't know. I can't even begin to tell you why, but I've just noticed that I've found things there for cheap. Like, for example, my Gucci tights. I bought those Gucci tights months ago. I bought them for a little over $100. Those Gucci tights are like $200 plus. If you can even find them, you can barely find them. So that's a place that if you're looking for any, anything luxury, I would check out their site first because I guarantee you more times than not, they're gonna have the lowest price. I mean, they just are. The shipping was fairly quick. I did not have to pay for express shipping. I ordered this bag on Sunday and I got this bag yesterday. Sunday, I ordered this bag on Sunday. It shipped from Canada. So the shipping is quick. I just highly recommend that site. I don't think a lot of people really know about that site if you're outside of Canada. So I feel like it's kind of like a little hidden secret, but definitely, I this is like, So anyway, that is my haul for today. I do have a couple of other things coming that I will film for you. I have something coming from Chloe and I have something else coming from Essence. It's just not here. I think it'll be here later on. Cause again, I got it from that, the Essence sale um, that they're having right now. I just couldn't pass it up. So I will film those for you as well because I have all the time in the world because I'm off and I am just kind of visually enjoying my time off. So anyway, that's it for today and I will talk to you guys later. Have a good week.